we need to just determine like when you're determining um, inverses. Mm -hmm. All right, um, you just gotta remember that if you take f, if you have f of x and you have f inverse of x, remember that when we're determining our inverses. Um, x equals one third x plus eight. So they're saying these are inverses of each other, but let's see if let's verify them, see if that's actually correct. Mm -hmm. So um, here it says these are inverses, but let's see if that's eh, let's yeah. So let's call them in there. So what I can do is I can plug one of, I can plug my inverse into this phone into my f of x, and then once I simplify them, I'll get x out. So I'll do three and rather than x, I can now write in one third x plus eight minus eight. All right? Okay. You I mean? So now I use distributive property, and what I get is three times one third is going to be x. Three times eight is going to give me twenty-four minus eight x. So let's do let's do um, f of f inverse of x equals that. So. When I go through, I get 24 um, minus 8 is going to be x plus 16. We're obviously going to see now it doesn't work, right? That's why these are not inverses. Okay. So let's go and take a look at um, another example. Let's just say f of x equals 2x minus 5. And f inverse of x equals x plus 5 over 2. So now let's just do the exact same thing. Let's take our inverse function and let's plug it in. So if I want to do f of f inverse of x, that's going to equal 2. But rather than that, I'm just going to multiply by x plus 5 over 2 minus 5. Well, when now when you simplify this, your 2's cancel out because that's 2 is a new numerator over a denominator. Mm -hmm. right? So those are cancel out. x plus 5 minus 5, those cancel out equals x. All right. And then just to verify, but they're not asking us to verify the problem, but they were asking to verify, we'd have to do it the other way again. And actually, you know what, might as well just double check. So let's just go through the other one. Let's do f inverse of f of x. So that means go back the other way. Now what we're going to do is take, instead of x, we're going to plug in 2x minus 5 plus 5 over 2. Well, when you undo the parentheses, those cancel out, you're left with 2x divided by 2. Those cancel out, so you're just left equal with x. All right, so okay. looking back at it, you can see you have inverse operations, but you gotta apply um, composition of your function and your inverse. Just because they have inverse operations in them does not always mean that, does not guarantee that they're just inverses, okay. all right?